Raynor. Zeratul. I bring tidings of doom. What the hell have you gotten yourself into? One spark of hope remains. You will hold her life in your hands. You're talking about Kerrigan. You show up out of nowhere. Time is short. You must understand. The answers you seek lie within. I impart my memory. My sojourn led me to a remote world known as Ulan, seeking an ancient prophecy rumored to foretell the return of the Zelnaka. The prophecy was divided into fragments, each kept at separate shrines, yet I was not the first to find them. You might kill the prophecy's layer, Zeratul, but you cannot outrun the doom. I must get to the Void Seeker and preserve the prophecy. I cannot decipher the fragments on my own, yet I know who might interpret them. The preservers of Zakul. If they cannot, I fear this entire universe will burn. So now we've got three of these artifacts on my ship. When are we supposed to hand these damn things over? They got their hands full right now. The Zerg are about to invade Tirador, where Mobius' main research center is. I don't reckon we'll hear anything from them until they relocate somewhere safe. Wonderful. Welcome back. We're going to go straight on to the next mission. I gathered allies, and we made our way to the Forbidden Archive world. Zaku. There, a triumvirate of mystic preservers awaited us, and in the shadows, something else was watching and waiting. All right, Zeratul, old buddy, you got your mysterious prophecy. Now let's see what your preservers made of it. My quest to decipher the prophecy took me to the Forbidden Archive world of Zakul. Here, three immortal preservers guarded ancient knowledge. Only they could transcribe the prophetic fragments. I needed to seek them out quickly. strangely silent here, yet these structures are intact. With power, they would be functional. Okay, let's get mining. And we also are going to need to power up these. I believe basically the AI activates once the pylons are completed, so theoretically you can probably use some shenanigans there. Uh, let's get that in the control. Oh, I can't put it in the control group because it doesn't belong to me yet. Interesting. Let's get a zealot. Mighty spirits of the preservers are imprisoned close by. We must find them. And we'll just keep our micro going. Macro going, rather. Do we get a assimilator? Yeah, let's get one of those on the go. Uh, let's get a stalker as well. Keep our pro production up. As you seek of a higher power now, Dark One. So let's get the Zealot in while that's tanking. Good. Nice. Higher power? What could have corrupted these Protoss so? 
Truly, something foul has taken hold of this sacred place. There are many abandoned structures in this place that we can make use of. They merely need their power restored by the construction of a few well-placed pylons. Now, I wonder, can I... Can I sneak this in here? Oh, hello. Not quite yet. Will you come all the way back? Aha. This atrocity. You know! <laughs> you know Zeratul! Facility. This structure may prove useful to us. You must construct additional pylons. This number is forbidden. State thy bidding. I am here. I return to serve. There we go. Mortal will be great. My thanks, mighty one. Let's get another in gas and actually let's get a gas income prep for us having immortals. Now the question is, uh, is he gonna he yeah. So I'm going to let him hope that he attacks the um for it. There we go. And my zealot is just running around. Oh, let's get some upgrades when we've got an opportunity. Good. Yep, Zealot do the tanking. You guys all get firing. Uh, how much is another Immortal? T for Immortal. Interesting. I shall return. Come, my slaves. Service. The hybrid is draining the preservers to survive. I must free them before it is too late. Can we get another cannon? Uh, Cybernex Core is just going to allow us to build stalkers. Uh, can we? Let's get our ground weapon upgrade as well. So they're coming this way. You guys get you get over there. Oh, I am supply blocked. Brilliant, love it. But we've got another immortal. You get back there. Have the immortals ta uh, immortals have the zealots tank. Hang on. I love stalkers. Stalkers are great. Uh, can we? We've got an army here. Oh, <laughs> we've got an army here as, as the enemy army appears. Can we clear out this way and start thinking about getting... Actually, I think we might be... You don't actually have to saturate uh, to 24 strictly speaking two on min each mineral field gets you like 97 percent of the way um where was i like 
I, I'll, I'll put up the actual numbers at some point, like in a little interstitial, uh, interstitial in a little uh, like explanatory thing on this. Uh, but you don't necessarily always need to go to 24. I might anyway, just to keep a habit of building the things. And let's see if we can get the cannon to tank as well. Yes, so we've got a dark shrine sorted. You guys go there. Zeratul, truly fate has sent you here. Sure you'd help if I could target fire. We shall cleanse this place of evil. Let's get a Come few more cannons. Because I have a habit. I have a habit of forgetting to have defences. And while Mar is at home, we will push out and see if we can secure this base. Not enough minerals. Oh, you go over there. Let's take out the turret. Take that out first. Okay. So Mars come in. Uh, can we just take that out? Good, good, good. So we'll fight Mar there. Just bop Mar on the head. He's coming this way. Can you guys head down here and do anything? Oop, you pull out. Yeah, and now he's starting to lift. Let's get the immortal back. Yeah, okay. You guys get out of there. Oh, they can urge into, urge into an Archon. Merge into an Archon. Cool. Let's clear out the rest of his space. Uh, can we get another... We can't get another Immortal yet. You pull back. You pull back. You pull back. Is it worth getting some Dark Templar? Okay, I'm going to take this base up. Let's pull back a second. Let's take that out while we're here. Okay, you guys all head back. Let's get some more infrastructure in here. I don't think we can support two uh, robos. And let's bring a probe down here so we can build a nexus in a moment. Let's take that out. Take that out too. Let's take that out and then head back in time for Ma. I believe Ma is a detector, isn't he? Yeah, so there's no point in using Dark Templar against him. But you guys could go down here and get to work on the base. How many mortals can we support? None if we are supply blocked. Oh. You build us a pylon down there. Or up there. Uh, who else is idle?
Oh, we've got him in the queue while we're waiting for the pylons to finish. I wonder if we can fight more on the way, while he's on the way, actually. Let's, let's fight him on the bridge. You require my skills. Yeah, he's getting a bit chunky now. Let's take out the stalkers first. Ooh. Let's take out that immortal. Yeah, shouldn't have maybe run past here, but we'll be okay. And you just finish that. Generally, you want to take out the weakest targets um, first. The weakest targets, especially who do the most damage. Can definitely get a Nexus soon. There we go. Let's get a Nexus in production. Let's get another pile on here so we can get Templar, although we're probably not going to build many. Let's actually have everyone rally down there. You just jump back a second. Perfect. So you all rally down here. Oh, ah, that was, should have cleared that path. So let's, before we do that. Doing fine there. Immortals are so good. Right, let's actually clear that pathway as well. Let's get a bunch of probe skin production. Ready yourself, noble warrior. We confront a terrible evil this day. Right, now we can I am the voice do that. The um, yeah, you get mining there. Let's put our stalkers a bit further in the back. Let's keep our immortals out front. Uh, their job is to tank. Uh, can we get another immortal in the queue? Uh, we can if I remember how hotkeys work. And then crossing this bridge is going to be a nightmare. Just, just as a heads up. So I'm actually going to do a full save. Now what I want to see is if I can start pulling things off the bridge. Oh, okay. I was expecting to not be able to just walk across the bridge. I'm sure that will change soon. So let's try and take out the... Oh, you guys blink in. Oh, that was bad timing. <laughs> Hang on. Here's the thing, I make mistakes when I'm playing so you can learn from my mistakes. That's absolutely what happens. I don't just make silly decisions on, my on the spur of the moment. The lesson here today is don't push until you've, until it's a counter attack. W wait for them to attack and then counter attack. Ba ba basic uh, strategy game principle, maybe. Sure, you guys just hang out down here as well. Maybe I'll make some Archons. What's the cheapest way to make Archons? High Templar. Oh, let's transfer some probes over then. So, yeah, that's probably okay mining-wise. Ah. You guys down there, you walk away a little bit. Don't be the closest target. You move back. 
Uh, you guys make an Archon. Yeah, Vespin is a bit of a... Right, a mineral field depleted, so actually we can chuck three of you in Vespin. And you go back to mining. And very much would guess... Oop, would guess that uh, From was being nearly mined out. Probably a good time to push out. See his Archon merge, cool. Actually, yeah, okay. Just wait for Mar to come to us. Get some Zealots in. Zealots, Zealots, whatever. Right, let's kill Ma and then head in. Ah, High Templar would have been good back, good for feedback. Never mind. Okay, let's save. Let's go. Let's get the Ar Archon near the front. Would be good. Let's take out the. Right, you guys, blink in. Let's try and stay out of the storms. Good. Take out the carriers. Take out the turret. Okay, we're in a position to really put the hurt on Mar. Let's just kill the Archon. You move there. Uh, you guys. Free target. Easy peasy. A lot easier when you uh, it's a lot easier when you push out at the right time isn't it <laughs> there we go piece of cake last guy well yeah we've got all the research there we go jobs are good Prophecy. I must seek out the Overmind's final resting place, our ancient homeworld of Ayr. There we go. It, it's a good thing that, like, uh, what's his name, Zeratul, like, twigged exactly what they were getting at, because, I don't know, I feel like I should probably give information in the least vague possible way, <laughs> but I guess any kind of, like, farseer kind of character always has to just speak in utterly vague terms and just hope the other person is picking it up. I think the prophecy thing is probably one of the weaker elements of StarCraft 2 overall. Like, StarCraft 1 and Brood War had elements of it with, like, mystical crystals and stuff, but it never quite felt as, uh, like, like a key part of the plot was Zeratul checking his horoscope before going out in the morning kind of thing. But, whatever, you know, it's fun to play, so that's something. Not bad, pretty happy with that. I hope you're pretty happy with it too, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please do give us a like. Other than that, I will hopefully see you next time and I hope you've had a great day. Goodbye.